Mom gives birth to twins, but doctor tells her that her baby might not survive. Joy became pregnant with twins when she was 32 years old. Although she and her husband Roberto were thrilled to be expecting, their happiness did not last long. One of the infants, in the doctor's opinion, was unique from the rest. Joy was concerned as she attempted to comprehend what the doctor was saying. The mother was in a panic and thought, I honestly cannot comprehend how he could say anything so vague to me. Joy's doctor advised her to rest easy in order to make the pregnancy easier. She feared for her children and prayed that nothing would happen to them. The doctor had told the couple that their twins were joined at the abdomen. The older of their two children was named Amanda, and the younger was named Emily. The pair needed some time to get used to their new situation. She wasn't supposed to have two children, and now one of them had a possibility of being born with birth abnormalities. She simply prayed that she would have children who would be healthy, happy, and free from suffering and trauma. As the day of the birth drew near, Joy was anxious. Obstacles made it difficult for the doctors to deliver the baby. Compared to Emily, Amanda was a significantly larger and healthier baby at birth. Emily was the last to be born and appeared frail and small. Joy was astounded by what her daughters looked like when she first laid eyes on them. Amanda was a healthy baby girl in spite of her round cheeks and round face. However, seeing Emily's state had Joy worried. Roberto, Joy's husband, also struggled with it. He had no way to assist his wife, and he was concerned about the future. They were able to find comfort and support because of the love they shared. They shared their worries and fears and offered each other support as they went through this trying time. How were they going to manage the never-ending meetings and doctor's appointments? Joy's strength and self-assurance in her role as a mother developed as the days went by. She developed caregiving skills and was astounded by her girl's fortitude. While Emily was delicate and needed special care, Amanda was a cheerful, vivacious infant. Joy was pleased of her twin kids' accomplishments and in awe at how far they had come. Joy's mother was astounded by the twins as well. Amanda and Emily captivated them, and they couldn't believe how strong they were. Joy's mother, Grace, became their primary carer and was always willing to assist them. Grace was proud of her daughter and the lovely family she had built. Joy was grateful for her mother's assistance, but she felt as if she was attempting to shield her from something or someone. Joy found enormous solace in the company of her mother. She cradled Amanda and Emily in her arms while giving them kisses and cuddles. Joy was able to connect with her daughter and her mother, whose love and acceptance helped Joy come to terms with her daughter's appearance. Friends and family came to see Amanda and Emily when they were taken to the nursery. They were astounded by the twins and in awe of what they were witnessing. Joy's closest friends eventually came over to view her newborns, but they were shocked by their looks. While others avoided eye contact with the girls out of fear, some murmured to one another. As she observed the responses of everyone around her, Joy felt alienated and overpowered. They were still insufficient, and she wondered if she should have the procedure done sooner. They were aware of all the troubles involved in what they were doing, but they had no other option. There was no way they could harm Emily's life, but there was a chance they might both have happier lives. If they decide to go with the medical treatment, they may lose Emily. She was the smaller of the two. The doctors indicated there was a chance she wouldn't make it. This devastated both of their hearts. As the doctors sat them down and explained them more about the operation, it felt riskier and riskier. The parents were not in a good financial situation, and it took them a year to scrape up enough money for the surgery. The babies shared essential organs and one reproductive organ. They each had one kidney that worked. Being connected at the abdomen was what kept them alive while slowly taking their lives. They would proceed, separating their bodies from the abdomen, even if they had a 50-50 chance of survival. The couple were taking a great step by risking one of their daughters for the sake of the other. The surgery would last 16 hours, 
and the prognosis was unknown. The physicians and nurses worked tirelessly to guarantee that they could operate independently. They had successfully separated the twins. Joy and Roberta were pleased by the news, but their happiness was fleeting. The doctors tried everything to save Emily, but it was too late. She passed away only a few minutes after the surgery. Her little body couldn't recover, and she lacked the strength to persevere. Even though they had expected the complications of the surgery, everything had happened so quickly. Amanda's progress was closely monitored by the physicians, who were pleased to report that she was doing well. Her parents were overjoyed and spent all of their 